Hello everyone, this is Andrew again and welcome to our PLC Programming Training for Beginner Part 2. The PLC problems on this training is more difficult than our previous problems. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons, one selector switch and one lamp. The lamp is initially turned on. If selector switch is off, the lamp will turn off if one or more push button is pressed. If the selector switch is on, the lamp will turn off if both push button is pressed. Okay, let's have the third condition first. If the selector switch is off, the lamp will turn off if one or more push button is pressed. The lamp is initially on. And when I press PB1, the lamp will turn off. When I press PB2, the lamp will turn off also. But, when I press both, lamp will turn off again. And now, let's turn on our selector switch. If I will press PB1, nothing will happen. The lamp is still on. When I press PB2, the lamp is still on also. But when I press both push buttons, the lamp will turn off. Now, I want you to create a program. I want you to solve this uh, problem. I want you to post this video. Then you can resume the video to reveal the answer. Okay, let's continue. This is my answer for this uh, problem. First, selector switch is off. Then let's try to press PB1 and lamp will turn off. Then let's try to press PB2. The lamp will turn off also. Then let's press both push button. The lamp turn off also. Now let's try to turn on selector switch 1. Now let's press PB1 again. Nothing happened. Let's press PB2. Nothing happened also. Now, when we press both push button, the lamp will turn off. And that's how we solve exercise 1. Now, let's go to our exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following condition. First, you have two push button, one selector switch, and one lamp. If the selector switch is off, the lamp is initially off and it will only turn on if both push button is pressed. If the selector switch is on, the lamp is initially on and it will turn off if one or more push button is pressed. Okay, our selector switch is now off. Let's press push button 1. Let's have our demonstration. Nothing will happen. When I press PB2, nothing happen also. But when I press both PB1 and PB2, the lamp will turn on. Now let's try to turn on the selector switch. The lamp is initially on. Then when I press PB1, lamp will turn off. And when I press PB2, lamp will turn off also. And when I press both PB1 and PB2, lamp will turn off. And now I want you to post this video and try to create a PLC program given the following condition. And you can resume this video as soon as uh, you want to reveal the answer. Okay, let's continue. This is my answer for this problem. Let's uh, try it. First, let's press PB1. Nothing happened. Let's press PB2. Nothing happened also. But when we press both PB1 and PB2, lamp 1 turn on. Now, let's turn on the selector switch. Lamp 1 is initially on. 
when I press PB1, lamp 1 turns off. When I press PB2, lamp 1 turns off also. And when I press both push button, lamp 1 turn off also. And this is how we solve exercise 2. Okay, let's go to our exercise 3. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons, one selector switch, and one lamp. If selector switch is off, the lamp is initially on and it will only turn off if one or more push button is pressed. If the selector switch is on, the lamp is initially off and it will turn on if one or more push button is pressed. Okay, the selector switch is now off. Let's have our demonstration first. Lamp is initially on. When I press push button 1, lamp will turn off. When I press push button 2, lamp will turn off also. But when I press both push button, the lamp will turn off. Now let's try to turn on the selector switch. The lamp is initially off. And when I press push button 1, lamp will turn on. When I press push button 2, lamp will turn on also. When I press both push button, the lamp will turn on also. Now, I want you to post this video again and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video to reveal the answer. Okay, let's continue. The lamp is initially on. When I press push button 1, lamp will turn off. When I press PB2, lamp 1 will turn off also. Then, when we press both push button, lamp 1 will turn off also. Now, let's turn on the selector switch. Now, let's press push button 1. Lamp 1 will turn on. Let's press push button 2. Lamp 1 will turn on also. And when we press both push button, lamp 1 will turn on also. And that's how we solve exercise 3. Now let's go to exercise 4. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have 3 push button and 1 lamp. The lamp will turn on if push button is pressed one at a time. And the lamp will turn off if two or more push button is pressed. Now let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Lamp 1 will turn on. PB2. Lamp 1 will turn on also. PB3. Lamp 1 will turn on. Press PB1. Together with PB2. Okay, now let's maintain PB2, then let's press PB3. Okay, let's press PB1 again together with PB3. And now let's press PB2. And as you can see on this problem, only one push button must be pressed to turn on the lamp. And now, I want you to create a PLC program based on these conditions. And uh, I want you to post this video first and resume this video to reveal the answer. Now, let's continue. This is my answer for exercise 4. Let's press PB1. Then PB2, then PB3, then let's press PB1 together with PB3, let's release PB3, then let's press PB2 together with PB1, let's press PB2 together with PB3. Now let's press the 3 push button together. 
And that's how we solve exercise four. Next, let's have our exercise five. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons, one selector switch, and one lamp. If the selector switch is off, the lamp is initially off and it will turn on if only one push button is pressed. If the selector switch is on, the lamp is initially on and it will turn off if both push button is pressed. Now let's have our demonstration first. Let's press PB1, it will turn on. PB2, it will turn on. But when we press both PB1 and PB2, it will turn off. Now let's turn on the selector switch. Let's press PB1. Now let's press PB2. Then when we press both buttons, the lamp will turn off. Now I want you to pause this video and try to solve this problem. And you can resume this video to reveal the answer. Okay, let's continue. This is my answer to this uh, exercise. Let's press PB1. Now let's press PB2. The lamp turns on. Then let's try to press both PB1 and PB2. Okay. Now let's turn on the selector switch. Now let's press PB1 again. Then let's press PB2. Nothing happened. Then let's try to press both push buttons. And the lamp turns off. And that's how we solve the exercise 5. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'm excited to see you on uh, our next uh, tutorial. And that's it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please uh, like and share my YouTube videos. And please like my Facebook page, the Gizgon Mechatronics Engineering Skills Tips, Tricks and Learning. And please click see first on Facebook to notify you for new posts. And uh, thank you again. See you next time.